Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the here every day, you would have no trouble getting your exercise walking back and forth the long hallway. Under the guidance of parish priest Reverend Father Meany in 1942, construction began on a convent which was formally opened and blessed on September the 5th, 1943. We are now entering the TV room where the sisters would retire to in the evening to read or watch some TV. You also see pictures of former bishops and bishops such as Archbishop Curry of St. John's, former bishop of the Diocese of Grand Falls. You all see religious articles such as the bust of our Savior along with replicas of uh, churches and a very beautiful nativity scene as you can see. Here we are in the beautiful convent chapel, which soon will be dismantled and moved to a parish that can use its religious articles. 
when the Presentation Sisters first came to Windsor. There was a school enrollment of 60 pupils that rose dramatically to over 600 in 1960. The first community of sisters were Sister Joseph Noonan, Sister Michael McCarthy, Sister Sebastian Caffey, Sister Clotilde Meany, Sister Marion Haney, and Sister Dorothea Barnable, and Sister Felix McCarthy. We are now leaving the chapel at St. Joseph's Convent in Grand Falls, Windsor, entering into the hallway where there are many artifacts of holy pictures and different Bibles and such as we take our tour, one last tour for this convent is removed. We are now entering the library, where there's a vast assortment of religious and books of knowledge that have been handed down through the generations for many years as part of St. Joseph's convent that was built, the first convent built in 1940 by Reverend Francis P. Meany, first parish priest of St. Joseph's Parish in Windsor. Came here in 1940 to shepherd the people as the community continued to grow with over 600 students graduating in the early 1960s. More artifacts from and China ware that the sisters use and a book by His Holiness, Pope John Paul II. It's a picture of a sister with a presentation order. We're leaving now and we will enter the kitchen area where many a fine feast have been created by the sisters. As we speak, there's a nice pot of soup being prepared for the evening meal. Everything here is in the religious sense, including the calendars. We are now entering the pantry where the meal is being prepared and put aside for the evening supper.
This is the dining room where the sisters have their meal. Sometimes we invite guests, including the priests and people who travel from other parishes. Here we have a picture of the Lord's Last Supper. Here's the place setting for the sisters. And here's a replica of the anniversary of St. Joseph's Parish. Here we see the steps that will take you to the sleeping area of the convent on the second level. On the wall there are two bells, a handheld and electric bell that's probably used for the call the sisters for dinner or for some other purpose. This will lead us to the uh, second floor of the convent. This is looking out through the uh, kind of window on a beautiful Saturday sunny afternoon. We're looking the kind of grounds in the parish house. sisters who have graduated from St. Joseph's Academy, Sister Sarah Beresford, Sister Alice Walsh, Sister Pauline Berry, Sister Brenda Lynch, Sister Jude Berry, Sister Catherine Lidstall. Sister Brenda's office. Another day room, room TV, more books, some by the window. Yes. We are now going to the basement that was used for storage, such as food, along with the washing of laundry and ironing. We are now entering the uh, pantry where 
sisters keep their uh, food supply. So we have different things, uh, not like it used to be one time, but there's a bit more uh, bare compared to what it used to be as there's only a couple of sisters who now reside here at St. Joseph's Convent. As you can see above our heads is the old uh, hot water system They're using the old piping which uh, over time would become a problem because it would rather need to be replaced and repaired as you can see tree we're going to into the hall of the basement which uh, seems to be a bit dark and gloomy we go into the uh, laundry room where sisters would uh, up and come to wash their clothing and iron it and press everything. Here's an older style uh, vanity that they use for putting their detergents on. The sink, double sink. Above our heads we can see more of this old piping. They're going to strip the entire building and the old cast iron radiators that are used for heat, which is much better than the source of heat that we are now using today. We are now about to leave the uh, laundry room. make our way into open area of the basement which is quite full and hasn't been much done to replace. Let's see if we can get a bit of light here. Oh yeah, this is a bit better. Here we go. As you can see, it's not the way it was built today, back 50, 60 years ago. As you can see the old concrete block. Uh, together to make a post, sister barbecue, and odds and ends that are used for maintenance at the time. And uh, here is the old paneling, water paneling system. Looks like it was upgraded a couple of times compared to what was here, and more of the old piping that runs across the ceiling. Juniper uh, post that runs through the building. And here it looks like an exit to the outside. So here it looks like it could have been a kneeler that was used in the confessionals at one point in time. As we leave the common area of the basement, we will now go to the uh, furnace room area. Let's turn out the lights as we go. This is uh, hot water water area. In here we have a very old uh, double sink cast iron. The old legs and more of the same. The old piping system that runs through the building. Still in use today. This building is soon to be demolished. Here is the furnace room. As we can see, or not see. Well, here we go. We got a little better view of it now. Let's see. Use a bit of light. Uh, here it is. Looks like an old boiler system there in the corner of some sorts. Uh, one of the last sisters here, or a couple, the last sisters here at the St. Joseph's Convent are Sister Brendan Lynch, who is my aunt, and Sister Connie Power. And there's sister here. I somehow can't remember her name. Back to
Let's see, for the basement. She's gonna make her way down the hallway. Other rooms. Here is a, seems like an area for stuff. There's storage area. A lot of the old candle system you used to use in the church one time. Light a candle back years ago. And more candle holders here and more holy pictures and odds and ends that have been used over the years. Uh, time, things change and with it comes a lot of change. Here we have an old album set open. Jane Candy. Let's see. Here we go. We're on Google 9 out of here now. And we're going to have another, you know, another storage area. It's really, really too big for the sisters to be able to keep up anymore. It's a big building. A lot of rooms, more books. I would say there are probably some really old books here on these shelves. Anyway, uh, capital will close sometime in the end of August 2011. It's too bad, but some things must have to come to an end. This is one of them. Here we go up the steps now to the main room. Thank you. 